Hello, welcome to my channel. I'm Andrea, and it's nice to have you guys here. Um, today, it's a would I repurchase this kind of a thing. So these are items that I've purchased. I may or may not have shown them in a haul previously. They're things that maybe haven't made it into a favorites video, um, but they're not entirely disappointing products, uh, some of them. So, and I haven't finished them, so they don't belong in a product empties video, so it's like, where do I put them? But I still wanted to kind of share my thoughts on these products in case some of you guys were considering purchasing them yourself. So, the first two were featured in a haul, and these are the, I think part of it is worn off actually, yeah. The English version is worn off. I think they're the color color gloss bombs or something. They come in these little tubes. Um, I have them in the shade 06 Warrior Princess and the shade, is that? I think it's 18. It's called Adjust Your Tiara. These are lip balms that have some tint to them. My initial first impressions were high. My second and third and fourth impressions, however, were not as high. You can build up to have more of a coverage or have it be really sheer. I think the trick is to let it be pretty sheer and let it be just a balm with only a slight bit of um, color. Otherwise, with this one, what I've noticed is if I layer it on too thick, it starts to get, it gets kind of gloppy and gloopy around the lips. It's not an attractive look. Um, I've tended to go for this shade, Adjust Your Tiara, a bit more because since it's so purple, because I'm putting it on so sheer, it just ever so slightly darkens my lips. So it's not purple, it turns them into kind of a really nice, it's, oh, it's also like a dark pinkish purple, but it's pretty, it's hard to explain, but the way that this color, this tint mixed, mixes with my natural lip color. It's really pretty and it's a really nice balm. This has been living in my handbag um, recently. I've started using this one a bit more. Um, I won't lie, I initially bought it because I just thought the name Adjust Your Tiara was perfect. Um, so I also liked Warrior Princess. So I do use these. I'm not entirely sure I would repurchase it once I finished it, but I am okay and committed with finishing them, so I'm not gonna like throw them out right now. Other lip products that are kind of in the same vein um, are the Burt's Bees lipsticks. And I, I ended up getting them in three colors. I got um, 520 Scarlet Soaked, which is a red. And I think you can see where I'm going with this. As dark as this looks, okay, that's, I wish my camera had better focus, um, cause I'm not sure how well this is going to come up, but if you see, this is, it's, it's red, it's definitely a red, but when I swatch it, I would expect a much darker color than this. So, and all of them are the same. So I've got the Scarlet, Scarlet Soaked 512, which is Fuchsia Flood. Again, looks pretty dark in here. Swatches pretty sheer. Um, and then I also have, my arm's going to be fun to clean up after this. Um, I also have shade number 523 Sunset Cruise, um, which should be this really pretty kind of dark terracotta and... Yeah. I mean, obviously my arm is significantly paler than my lips, so it doesn't, they don't go on quite that sheer. And I can build the color up with these. I just feel like I'm having to really slap on like three coats of this. So they are comfortable. I'm not sure I'd purchase any more than I already have. I feel like I've spent enough on these products. But they are somewhere in between a lipstick and a tinted balm. They're definitely more coverage than a tinted lip balm, but I'd say they have that comfort factor, but they're not as pigmented as a lipstick. So there are lipsticks that I like much better. The last makeup item is this Yves Saint Laurent YSL. Um, this is the Vinyl Couture Mascara, and this is in the blue. I almost put this in my last monthly favorites. 
I filmed it, I included it, and I cut it out when I was editing. Um, I personally like this. It's got a nice bristle brush. It's not too big. It's not too small. It coats all my lashes. It goes on. It definitely lengthens and defines um, and builds a little bit of volume without being too clumpy. Um, it's not as blue as the color looks and I was initially kind of unsure about that. I thought, well, I've paid $29 for blue mascara. It should be blue. Um, but what I noticed as I was wearing it was, depending on the light, I was outside, if I was inside, it kind of changed. It's a very subtle blue, but it is blue. You can tell. It was just, I didn't notice it at first. But what I found is that um, the, the edges, the tips of my lashes, can be pretty bright, especially when the light hits them just right. Um, so it's a very subtle color, but I think it's really pretty. I've worn it in a few videos. I feel like I'm not sure that it really stands out as BAM! Blue mascara. But it just does something to my lashes and it does something to the whole eye area. Not necessarily brighter, but it just, there's something that pops. And it's one of those things where if you didn't know I was wearing blue mascara, you probably wouldn't think it was the mascara. But like I can tell, it's it's only when I wear this that it has that effect. So $29, not cheap, but I do like this. My one disclaimer though, and it's only happened once that I'm that I can recall, and it was a really humid day. I did notice one day after I was done teaching I went into the ladies room and I just had a streak of blue under my eyes. It's the only time it's happened so I'm not sure if it's just because of how humid it was that day so this might not be the best if you live in a super humid climate or if you have oily skin that causes, mas causes your mascara to run. This might not be the best one. I really like it. I feel the effect is great. It's worth just reminding myself I need to check to make sure that it's not falling out under my eyes. So I'm not sure if I'd repurchase it again and again and again, but I feel like every now and then it's a fun treat. I have a weird relationship with this mascara. Um, and now going into some skincare items. So the one that I love is this, um, this was a kind of deluxe sample travel size um, that I got from Sephora. This is the Caudalie um, Divine Oil for body, hair, body, face, and hair. I actually haven't tried it yet in my hair or on my face. I have a thing about putting oils on my face, but I have used this on my body. It smells amazing. I just love the smell. It's not going to be for everyone, so I do recommend either getting a sample size or going to Sephora or somewhere that sells Caudalie and testing it yourself. I think I mentioned this in my very, very first Sephora haul, which was like my second video ever. Um, it's not very greasy. It does blend into the skin really nicely. Um, it doesn't leave the palms of my hands feeling super oily. I like putting this on um, right before I go to bed. It just, oh, it, I, I love it. Um, it's not cheap. I think this little bottle was like $12. The large bottle is $40. I do like it and I will repurchase this and I'd probably get the bigger bottle so that I can then refill the little one and have this like as a travel thing. This was something that I did feature in a haul. This was um, the, and I think it still is, one of the Sephora birthday offerings. Um, it's the rose face mask and then there's a cleanser, um, both by Fresh. Um, the face mask I really like and as long as this little tub has been lasting me, I mean I don't use it every week but I do use it every so often. I've had this since February. I probably need to use it up. Well, it says it's good for 12 months, so I've got a little bit more time. Um, a little goes a really long way. I've probably used this six or seven times, and I'm about halfway down. So I feel like you could probably get at least 15 uses out of this because a little goes a long way. Um, if you don't like roses, you won't like this. I haven't said what this is. This is the Rose Face Mask infused with real rose petals, hydrates, and tones. So this is, I think, $60 for a full-size tub. 
as long as it lasts, I probably will repurchase this. Um, but if I can get my hands on a small sample size, I'd probably do that first, just because it does last a long time. And I only do this every couple of weeks, um, because I have other masks for hydrating. What I love about this is the longer you leave it on, your skin literally drinks this up. It's kind of amazing. Um, it feels great. Once, when I go to wash this off, I just take a cotton pad, run it under the water, and I just, I'm really just removing the bits of rose petals <laughs> that are still stuck to my face. But the, the lotion aspect of it, just, my skin drinks it up, and it just, when I wash it off, my skin just feels amazing. And roses are one of my favorite flowers, so I do love the scent. So... Um, yeah, I would recommend this. The only reason I wouldn't say go out and buy it right now is because it is expensive. But if your birthday is in the next couple months, it seems like it, this fresh duo is still um, the, one of the birthday gift options. So um, I would recommend picking that. So yeah, so those are just a few products that I've been wanting to talk to you guys about and give you some updates on. But didn't know what other video to put them in, so I just made a video with them. I'd love to know in the comments if there's any products that you've been trying that you wouldn't put in your favorites, but aren't completely useless, that, you know, like some of these you maybe have a complicated relationship with. Those are the kind of difficult things to share. Like, it's not a perfect product, but I still really kind of like it. So, yeah. Anyway, I will see you all soon in my next video. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope you all have a great day. Bye-bye.